Okay, then. I, I didn't really mean to use that. I just used it to my shield. I was thinking, you know, it's kind of weird that it's sideways when the comments were telling me that it was supposed to go up. And then I used it once, and it it's a one-time use thing no matter how quickly I release the button, I guess. Okay, I'm excited to try that. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and I didn't necessarily mean to start the episode here, so I might I might cut after this intro, but you know, whatever. It's it's organic. Last time we met Tulin, who's the spitting image of his father. He has a very unique ability. It actually okay, here, real quick, real quick, real quick. Can I activate this in the air? Fly. I can. Okay. That's that's really nice, because that means I don't... Yes. Nice. Can I cancel it? I'd like to... A little bit awkward that I can't just cancel it. Uh, he's the spitting image of his father. Now, I'll, I'll be honest. I was a little bit worried when we when we met him, uh, because he had he had a lot of the, uh, the preambles of a, in my opinion, kind of ter tired character arc, uh, where... He's this, like, young buck that's ready to take on the world, and over the course of our relationship with him, life will slowly erode at his pride until he realizes the value of friends. Uh, but, no. is That arc has played out. Which is great, because now it means we we get the entirety of the Heber region to uh, get better acquainted with him. Which, I do plan on doing. Uh, I, I don't really expect Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom to have the best stories, because let's be honest, uh, as far as Zelda games go, they probably have some of the, well, at least Breath of the Wild, I can't really speak to this yet, uh, but Breath of the Wild has one of the weakest stories, uh, in, in 3D Zeldas, at least, um, it doesn't have the, the themes of regret or growing up and time, um, that, where am I actually going? Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and actually warp here, yeah, that Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask have. And it, it doesn't have the the character dissection that and development that Skyward Sword has. But at the end of the day, I would like intriguing characters. Because that's, I think, this game's strong suit. The story of this game is the one that you... Well, to quote Xenoblade, <laughs> Xenoblade 1, it's one that we forge ourselves. It's all of the comedy of errors that lead to the exhilaration of victory after a fairly self-imposed challenge. And I'm content with that. What is... Those rocks look very odd. Are they loaded in proper? Oh, okay, okay, there we go. It looked like strange shading, like it was low res, but it was actually just a strange perspective. Okay, what are we doing this episode? Well, first and foremost, now that we have Tulin... Uh, that's way outside of rain. Eh, maybe not, maybe not. We might grab that, actually. Now that we have Tulin... Uh, I would like to act on one of the comments that said that I, I did indeed miss a little bit of the introduction to Rito Village. And I thought that now that we have him, it would be kind of neat to go... Oh. Wait, what? I've got to find Princess Zelda and save the village from the blizzard. I'm not going to leave till, the, till that's done. That makes sense. That's fair. I, I agree with that. Uh, so I just need... Weird, we're not out of region, though. I... That's very strange. Well, let's... Drop down a little bit, just so I can see. Will he let us go this way? Huh. That's very... I'm trying to go... You're really going? Be sure to come back when you, you've done what you need to. No! No, do it! I'm trying to go back to your hometown, buddy! Where'd you go? Where did he go? What? I was doing this for him! <laughs> Where is he? Uh... Maybe he's back at town. Oh, wait, oh, he, he's... <laughs> Link, you're back! Come on, we've got more investigating to do! Let's do it, buddy! Long time no see! <laughs> what was that? Uh, so I guess he's just... <laughs> He just programmed as soon as we could go back in the bounds of his interest or his, uh... Oh, my word. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Let's go. Will he not let us go back to town? Is that what's happening? But 
It would make so much sense for us to be able to go back to town. I'm going to choose to ignore that for now. I have more important things to do. I have bigger birds to fry. Oh, my word. He won't let us go back to town. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to town then. As odd as it is that Tulin won't go back to Rito Village with us. He's not necessarily required. He was just the flavor, the flavor cherry on top of the, the lore smoothie. I don't know why you're putting cherries on top of smoothies, but just, just bear with me on that. It's a thing. I, I don't know if I need to be obsessive about breaking all of these, but in my mind, they could be hiding something. Besides just water and nothing else. So I'm, I'm going to keep breaking. Pine cones. And chests, apparently. Meat, a purple rupee. Okay, so there's an intro near here. I also... The pine cones, what do they do? Throw it to a fire to increase the intensity of the flame. Okay, alright. I like that. I'll definitely try that. Is that a thing I can grab? It is, in fact. For once, it is not an Octorok. Although, that would be very odd for them to throw an Octorok right in the entrance of the town. I feel like uh, that would be a problem that they'd want to take care of. The bridge is out. Which, you know, I just thought of that. I, I kind of just took it for granted and also forgot that bridges are a major mechanic in uh, Wind Waker, where you can break them. And I think we kind of forget that they're just immovable pieces of uh, of the architecture, of the landscape in in this game, and in every other Zelda game, really. It's it's really cool that they they make them destructible in Wind Waker. It leads to a lot of cool gameplay. Lucky Clover Gazette. Oh, yeah, that's a thing that we were sent to do. Uh, sure. Well, first I want to try this. I want to try this. By type, uh, type, I guess. Where are these pine cones? I'm gonna stand back because I don't know what this is gonna do. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, all right. That's. Wow, that's. Maybe half. Half or a third of Rivali's Gale. Okay, well, pine cones are a thing. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, my roommate actually told me a trick about pine cones. Or not pine cones. About. The favoriting menu. If I keep attaching. If I keep attaching something to my bow, I don't have to fire, it doesn't consume it, but when I then go back to my menu by most used, pine cones should and are near the top now. And it's a way to manipulate it. I'm not going to do it too much because I don't want I don't want to power creep my favorite menu uh, to where it makes it more difficult to do this trick, but a good trick it is, so I am appreciated appreciative to Ryan for that. I love I love your outfit. I would love to have that coat. That coat is such an earthy vibe. You like my mask? It's it's a, it's pretty nice. It's it's a nice mask. It is also kind of earthy and creepy. I still to this day don't know what's going on with uh, with Makar's left eye. Uh but Makar's cute, so I'm not going to question it. Let me, let me guess. You have business in the Rito village as well. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but the bridge is down. There's no way across. Since the newspaper ran an article about the Rito sh food shortage, supply shipments have started to arrive, which is great. But with no bridge, there's no way to transport the goods to the Rito. I'm at my wit's end here. And since the sun is refusing to show its face, it's cold. I might throw another Hylian pine cone on the fire that... <laughs> I love that I chose this fire to learn about that mechanic, and this is the NPC that tells us about it. Those things burn hot. Last time I, st I stoked the fire with one, it caused a great gust of wind that made my bangs all frizzy. Recently, that guy Gorley tossed one into the fire to get some newspapers. Papers, they, they caught up in a gust of wind and flew all the way to Rito Village. There's no way, that's no way to treat the written word. It is not meant to be spread. No bridge, there's no way to transport goods to Rito Village. I'm at my wit's end here. And since the sun is refusing to show its face, it's- Oh, wait, wait, okay. Is there any way for me to fix that? Because I- I'm a builder. I- you could even call me- 
You could even call me Bob. Okay, that's what I thought. There's a sign. Wingless visitors, cross at your own peril. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think you need to put that sign here. Uh, <laughs> that's a very pointless sign. <laughs> Winged visitors. You will kill yourself if you take three more steps. You've been warned. Rito Village is that way, the way of death. Uh, where... I wonder if there's a quest that will let me build a bridge. This ice is very weird. It's... It's especially weird because when I break it, it almost feels like the game freezes for a second, or Link does at least. Do you guys see that? And... No, I guess, I guess I am locked out of jumping again a, a little bit, but I don't know, the game almost feels like it stutters. Okay, uh, besides me jumping on ice for no other reason than to hear it crack, which is really the reason why, I mean, it's just what we all do. This used to be a stable. It is no longer a stable, and we have a quest over here. Um, sure, I guess we'll accept that, why not? Shh! Tracy, our editor here, is getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. You're here about our newspaper, right? Then you can talk to me too. I'm next in charge. Oh, wait a minute, it's you! I gotta say, you did a good job getting out here to find us. It's quite a hike from Lookout Landing when you haven't got wings, but here you are. Was it easy to find the place? Some folks pass by without a second look. After all, it, it, was, it was a stable before Tracy cheated the previous owner out of it. But you don't miss a thing, do you? Not bad, not bad at all. I assume you came for the job. You want to vouch for the you want to work for the newspaper, right? I'll vouch for, for you with Tracy. Just picture it, traveling the world with a reporter, shining light on the truth. We'll be partners out there. Hey, quiet. Don't don't you listen, Pen? I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. And another thing, I bought this place from the owner after we came to a fair, mutually beneficial agreement. Could you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? I, uh, so, sorry, Tracy. Uh, uh, this is a new applicant for the reporter job. I, I wanted, I wanted you to know, since you are not here when I had that conversation two seconds ago. New applicant? I, she told him like. Hmm, hang on, you look like... Ah, L Link! Hey, uh, sorry, Pen, but could you give us, uh, me and this guy, a, a second here? Huh. Alright, how about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Clo Lucky Clover Gazette here, if you, w if you couldn't tell. I recognized you right away, be despite what you were wearing. <laughs> you know what, I did wear this mask a lot in Breath of the Wild, that makes sense. Don't worry, Pura asked us to... Uh, asked us for help in digging to into what's happened to Princess Zelda. Now tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? It's implied that I'm speaking. Interesting. So that's why she asked you to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Well, coming here was a great call. What I mean is, we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. I was about to assign Pen to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Pen who you are. It's better no one knows you're involved. What do you say? Think you could work for, with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free, though that'd be nice. Wait just a second. I'm gonna let, give you a little incentive from the back. Here we go. Ta-da! The full set of froggy armor. With that on, it's easy to cling to wet surfaces. No slipping. You work with Penn to chase down all those news stories, then I'll give you this piece of armor. Piece by piece, all yours. Mama. Pretty good deal there, Link. Anyway, that's my offer. Hey. Penn, you can come back in. Oh. Starting now, this guy's your partner. Well, if our editor here says you're in, then that looks like I have I had you sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick them. Oh. Alright. <clears throat> That's not his her voice. Alright, you two. Here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Pen, you'll head this all up. Stables bring in people. People bring in details. Details are what we need. Now, get us some news. Copy that. The froggy armor, huh? You know, this is one of the 
biggest suggestions I heard from Bre people who played Breath of the Wild. That the climbing set should have had, well, if there were tier 4 bonuses in Breath of the Wild, that mm, slip resistance was one of them. And Nintendo listened. It was a good idea, even, and they recognized that. He puts on a pretty confident act, but Penn is still a rookie reporter. There's a number of things he's, he hasn't got a handle on yet, so take care of him. Remember, where there's a crowd, there are rumors, and where there are rumors, there might be leads to Princess Zelda. Canvas the stables and see what you can find out. Great, I'm, I'm glad that we got an ongoing quest instead of one that I would drop everything to do right now. Guess it's time to go collect some firewood. No killing shortcuts. My Hylian Pinecone mishap taught me that. Gotta do the work and chop down all the trees, hmm? Oh, welcome. This is Rito's stable. Oh, no, it's not. It's the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm sorry. Old Dibet, uh, Old Dibet's die hard. <laughs> Harder than stables do, clearly. Ahem. I just do odd jobs, so if you have business with the Lucky Clover Gazette, please ask somebody inside. Uh, Hylian Pinecones, what do you mean about... What's this mishap you're talking about? Perhaps due to the abnormal weather, there's been an explosive increase in Hylian Pinecones. They're very oily on the inside and burn really well. Too well, in fact. I tried tossing one into the fire for kindling, and it went up so violently it created a whirlwind. I once had a beard. Now I just have a mustache, which in turn sent all the freshly printed papers flying far, far away. I'm supposed to be helping the Lucky Clover Gazette, and that was very much the opposite of help. This place was once a stable, and I was once its owner. But when that terrible cold wave rolled in, it froze up our business along with the rest of Hebra, which is why the stable closed down. The Lucky Clover Gazette bought the place shortly after. I thought I'd try to help out around here for a while. It's not like I have anywhere else to go. I'm retired. But it's a lot of work I'm not used to. And I'm still sort of fumbling through learning it all. We're gonna want to talk to somebody inside if you have any business with the Lucky Clover Gazette. I should go collect more wood soon. I tried using a highly in- oh, that's- I still can't believe one Hylian Pinecone could burn so intensely. It's outstanding. That sensational feeling. That is the quickening. Uh, that was like a double reference right there. Also a very old double reference. I am, in fact, now a boomer. Okay, what are we doing? Is this the intro that, that the commenter was alluding to? Because it would make sense. And we did walk in this way. So I'm going to assume that that's it. Although I kind of want to go talk to, uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to go back to Rito Village just to talk to, uh, to Tulin's mom. 